Pete with Philly Rovers here, guys, for our debut of the Rovers recap. That's right, guys. I'm bringing to you guys a weekly recap of what the Rovers have done in their business on the week. As best as I can, there is a deluge of information coming out from Brock Hall and Ewood on a daily basis. And I don't know how everyone keeps up with it day to day, but I'm going to at least try and do it week to week and help you guys out along the way. Pete with Philly Rovers, let's get it started. Okay, guys, first and foremost, the big news of the week. You know what it is. That's right, guys. The ladies' rovers are no more. It is now the women's rovers. A big name change for a big new era ahead for women's rovers. They're calling it the blue era. I don't think it's a sad thing, but rather a progressive thing here for the women's rovers. And I'm not sure what... I feel about this name change. I personally did like the ladies' rovers. I like the name. So for my first rovers recap, I am calling for a return of the ladies' rovers. Bring back the ladies' rovers, guys. That's right. I think it has to be done. We make mistakes, but it's what we do with those mistakes once we realize they are so that proves us to be successful squad and we hope that the women's rovers will make that change back because we want them to be successful in the championship and move forward possibly under Maddie B who took over for Gemma Donnelly after 16 years so this is a big season will that we need all this change all at once I don't know but Pete with Philly Rovers isn't on board just yet maybe I need to talk to a couple other people to understand better but we'll see Bring back the ladies' rovers, guys. Bring them back, and then we'll go from there. Let's move on to the second news of the Rovers Recap Week. Here we go, guys. Moving over to the gentleman's side of things, Tronstadt had his first day at the training ground, a bra call there on Monday, and it was a good one. The Norwegian, exciting times ahead for the Norwegian and for Rovers as Greg, his second signing of the year, Tronstadt, back to work on Monday. And then later in the week here, we had the Totally Wicked announcement. The Front of Kit sponsor returning. So, Totally Wicked, a local company, Lancashireian, a vape company, controversially so. The fans seemed to not like it. They were pretty vocal on Twitter. I think the people pro Totally Wicked were being pretty quiet behind the scenes because... I don't know. I think totally wicked. I, I think people forget that they were, they came on board a year and a half ago. Or so when Recoverite, the Australian Blackburn fan fanatic, stopped paying the bills and they needed somebody to step up. And totally wicked, a local company stepped up to the plate, was put on in front of the kid of sponsor midway through the season. We got all the sponsors ironed on there and it was a it was you know hats off to totally wicked for doing so and being there for the rovers because you know and i'm not saying that it's just whoever pays the bills should get the front of the sponsor but i don't think rovers do any you know service to themselves here they don't promote the sponsorships i feel like i never see it on twitter that the sponsorships are there for the taking post how much they are i think a lot of companies would reach out i think a lot of fans would, would that work for companies might not think to do so but if they are following on twitter and they see the price they might be able to say to their ceo if they're not the ceo already to pay for that sponsorship so broaden your reach for rovers get bigger sponsors out there i myself on Twitter had said, let's reach out to HP, the fax machine. Let's do something with that mistake that from the transfer window and get HP on the board or some sort of fax machine. I think these companies have marketing teams that like that sort of thing. They want to help. They want a story and they want to see a team that is part of the community and be part of something that's going to progress. And we know this season is a big one for Rovers. But again, it is totally wicked, guys. So, you know, pick your vice. There is the betting companies that are on jerseys. You know, what's to say a donut company is different than a vaping company? There's a lot of vices out there. And there's a lot of sponsors that we're not going to take. But this local company has stepped up for us in the past. And they're there again this season. So I think we should... You know, not blame them for anything and say if you know you're not a fan of the vaping, maybe get on the regulators or on the rovers themselves. I think totally wicked take a lot of slack and they don't need to do so as they are only supporting our team. Let's go forward now here for the third thing of the week, guys. 
The third bit of business here, guys, is that Tommy Bloxham, a 18-year-old from Spurs, has signed with Rovers through the 2025 campaign. He's a bit of a star, so we're happy to have him. He's got a bit of an Irish background as well as English background. He's played for both national team squads at the under-17 level. He's an attacking midfielder, so we'll see what he can do. But we're glad that he's here. Congrats to Tommy. But the big signing of the week was none other than Icelandic great Anna Sigurdsson from CSK Moscow. He comes to Rovers. This is Greg's big signing of the month. He's had four with Tommy, but this is the third first team signing here for Greg. So he's fulfilled his promise to the Rovers fans. He's making up for the mistake of the transfer window in January, Greg is coming and doing what he has said he's going to do. And now, Honor, we are reaping the rewards. We are not ready to just yet forgive the volcano. But I will say, maybe forgive, never forget. We'll see what Honor does in the upcoming season. If he does what we think he can do, that volcano may be... Forgiven. Highly rated. Major threat. Big firepower there from Honor. Exciting season ahead here with this big signing. More to come, though, for Greg. He's got to keep going now. Go, Greg, go. Let's keep going now here with the news for the Rovers recap. But well done, Greg. Welcome, Honor. The third bit of business here, guys, is that Tommy Bloxham, a 18-year-old from Spurs, has signed with Rovers through the 2025 campaign. He's a bit of a star, so we're happy to have him. He's got a bit of an Irish background as well as English background. He's played for both national team squads at the under-17 level. He's an attacking midfielder, so we'll see what he can do. But we're glad that he's here. Congrats to Tommy. But the big signing of the week was none other than Icelandic great Anna Sigurdsson from CSK Moscow. He comes to Rovers. This is Greg's. Big signing of the month. He's had four with Tommy, but this is the third first team signing here for Greg. So he's fulfilled his promise to the Rovers fans. He's making up for the mistake of the transfer window in January. Greg is coming and doing what he has said he's going to do. And now, Honor, we are reaping the rewards. We are not ready to just yet forgive the volcano. But I will say, maybe forgive, never forget. We'll see what Honor does in the upcoming season. If he does what we think he can do, that volcano may be forgiven. Highly rated, major threat, big firepower there from Honor. Exciting season ahead here with this big signing. More to come, though, for Greg. He's got to keep going now. Go, Greg, go. Let's keep going now here with the news with the Rovers recap. But well done, Greg. Welcome, Honor. It was a busy Thursday for Rovers, even after the signings of Tuesday and Wednesday, as the Rovers saw the fixtures released, as well as the Carabao Cup draw for the first round, and the number four ball, the Blackburn Rovers, drew Walsall FC, the Saddlers, who are going to have to drive up the M6 to visit the Rovers at Ewood Park. So we will welcome the American-owned Walsall FC in August. And then, of course, the fixtures, the big news of the week besides honor was the fixtures released now everybody knows the schedules and what we're going to be seeing in august throughout the whole season first up the baggies at home and then a couple i think we have watford we've got the hornets and I, let's see we've got the millers we've got the tigers then things heat up in september where we see neal ennis return home to plymouth argyle there we might see lanahan who had an appearance there for the Republic of Ireland last week where they didn't fare too well against Greece. We might see him back at Ewood with Middlesbrough. And then, of course, Mowbray and the Black Cats make their return yet again to Ewood. And then Ipswich Town, who had been rumored and linked with Bradley Dack in the offseason. Nothing confirmed just yet. Nothing over the weekend to move the thing further but we will see we will keep an eye on that there will Bradley Dak be in the championship or will he go down to league one we're not sure just yet and then of course in September again busy month in September the Leicester City newly relegated Leicester City from the Premier League there the Foxes make their way to Ewood 
And I think Ewood will fare them better considering how we did so in the FA Cup at King Power Stadium. So the Foxes will have an easy go at us uh, rather than the uh, King Power Stadium there. But we'll be able to take care of it, guys. Uh, so interesting season ahead. And then, of course, the season wraps up with King Power Stadium. So we'll be happy to take them on yet again at King Power and will already be automatically promoted at that point, so we won't have to worry about too much, but we'll still take care of the business. Moving on to our last bit of news here, guys. Okay. That about wraps it up here, guys, for the Rovers news of the week here. Six weeks until our season. Honor Signerson has come to the league for the Rovers, as well as the fixture release this past week. But personally so here, guys, my news of the week here, I... I'm starting the Rovers recap. I look to continue. I look to develop my skills each and every week and improve upon this Rovers recap. I hope to still be active on Twitter and continue that forward in the upcoming season, as well as do um, many appearances here for the Rover Seas channel. And with Dirk, Dirk, keep me on board there, buddy. Don't forget about me. Watch alongs are coming. But yes, guys, please like and subscribe and please give me feedback. Only if it is good, though, of course. I am welcoming it, all of it, and I really uh, appreciate the help and support. Like, subscribe, Pete with Philly Rovers. That's it for this week. We'll catch you here, guys, next week. Let's go, Rovers.